the first thing we're going to go over is Windows Task Manager. Windows Task Manager gives you the information related to the performance of the computer and also keeps the user updated on the health of the computer. You can get the Task Manager by holding down your Control key and your Alt key at the same time and also clicking Control Alt Delete. Then you would click on Task Manager. And as you can see, Task Manager comes up. You can move it around wherever you, it's easier to access for you. As you can see, you have a file menu at the top with options and a view and a help menu as well. When you type, uh, click on File, and it gives you the options to run a new task or to exit. You go to options and you can change the way Windows Task Manager looks by it can you can change it to always on top of things no matter what you click on. You can minimize it on use and hide it when minimized or show full account name. When you go to view you can refresh the window, update the processes and the speeds and all that stuff, select the column, and you can go to help and get help topics on Task Manager, and then it can also go to about Task Manager to get the version and all that. Okay, the first tab you can click on is Applications, and it shows the two applications I have open right now, which is Command Prompt, which is, you know, renamed something different, which is Pebbles and Bam Bam, and Notepad. I have a Notepad document open as well. The next tab you can click on is Processes. This will show all the different processes that are running in the background right now. And it can show how much memory these processes are taking up and how much of the CPU's memory it's actually using at the moment. The next tab you go to is services, and this shows all the services that are being used at this time. And these are also ones that probably are in the background. The next tab is for performance. This would be for you to be able to check the health of your PC. Um, shows you your CPU usage, your memory, and the history, and also shows your physical memory right now. And at the bottom of the screen, it actually gives you number values of the physical memory, kernel memory, and then it tells you about your system, the handles, the threads, the processes, and it calculates all those together, and it shows you how long the computer itself has been up and running. And then you also have the option to go into resource monitor here. Then you have networking for your next tab, and this will show your like uh, access to the internet like if you were connected to the internet right now it would show the um, are changing here. Okay, and if we were to type in something different, like google.com, and you can see it's starting to spike here actually having some internet usage. The next tab you can go to is users and this will show how many users are logged on at this moment. Like if you were to switch users and log in to another account then both of those would be open at the same time. Although one is not currently being used it still shows up as being logged in. Okay. That's all we're going to, oh, and you, at the bottom of the screen you have uh, the option to disconnect that user or to log off. And depending on what um, 
tab you are in, for instance, for applications, you can click on an individual application and choose to end the tab at any time. And then, as you can see, it ended that tab. Okay, and that's all I'm going to go over for Windows Task Manager. And then I also have... I'm going to go over Command Center. Okay. Um, you can access Command Prompt by going to your Start menu and typing in cmd.exe. And then this window will appear. And as you can see, I've created a shortcut on my desktop. This is how I access mine. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this bigger so that we can actually see what I'm doing. And um, there's different things that you can do in Command Prompt. It's a command line. Um, where you can tell the computer different things to do. Um, first of all, you can type in help, and this will give you different uh, codes that you can type in to make the computer do different things or make the command prompt do different things. Like, for instance, if I wanted to change the color of the font for command prompt, I would type in color space 5. And then as you can see, it changed it to purple. And then I could change it back to a color by going to color F, and it changes it back to white. I can clear the screen by typing CLS. There's also another thing you can do, which is you can go up here to the top left corner of the window, and you have different options. You can choose to edit, mark, which would allow you to basically copy or highlight different areas in the command prompt. And then you can choose to select all, and then you could actually hit enter, and that would automatically copy whatever you highlighted. And then you can go into the properties window as well. What we're going to do is we're going to go over IP config now. We're going to type in IP config, hit enter, and this will show us the the IP config command displays information about the computer's TCP IP configuration. And if you type IP config by itself, the computer's IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway are displayed. If you were to type in, for instance, IP config slash all, you'll see more detailed information, and basically this is what the typical output from the IP config all slash all command would look like. It would be more detailed. So I'm going to type in CLS uh, and clear all that out, and that's all we're going to go over for this tutorial. Thank you.